Yeah, yeah. We're working towards completion. Yeah. And every opportunity you get to get better, you need to take care, advantage of that opportunity. Yeah. That's why you have Bible study. Yeah. That's why you have men and women of God that are laboring before God, amen, because we have a goal that we're trying to reach. Yes, yes it's good to get... <laughs> Cars and, 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 and positions and, and land and all these other things, amen. But these things are going to be passing. Those things don't need to be a hindrance in your life. We know those things are important, amen. But the most important thing is that the individual, he said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things will be added unto you. But first of all, what we have to do is that we have to seek righteousness. We have to try to do the right thing. Yes. Amen. 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 Opportunity is a good position. It's a chance for advancement or success. Uh -huh. That's what opportunity is. It gives you, amen, the chance to succeed in whatever it is you want to do. That's why they say you put God first. Uh -huh. Come on now. Yes. All right. Amen. Put them before that husband or wife because the Bible says he defined the good wife, found it a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Put God first in your relationship. Put God first, amen, when it comes to your job. Amen. 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 Yes. We look at the word opportunity as a favorable circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I'm the one, I like to look at certain words and I like to look at synonyms, amen, because the, the, it's very similar to the word. And the word, amen, opportunity, the first point, I want to make from opportunity. The first word is liberty. Uh -huh. Liberty. The Bible tells us, amen, in Galatians 5 and 1, it says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ had made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. God created the opportunity for us to get saved, to be delivered from those things, why go back? All right, all right, all right. All right. Okay. After he hung, bled, and died, and he created the opportunity, yeah. all we have to do is come. Amen. All right, that's all right, opportunity. All we have to do is come. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. He says, yeah. why go back? All right. Why get entangled with those things in which God had delivered you from? Yeah. All right. yeah. The next word, amen. Good word. Is connection. From opportunity, the word is connection. The Bible said that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things have become new. You have to look at that scripture, amen. And we are, like I said, we are working towards perfection. Yes. But if we are saying that we are representatives of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. and that we have came and that we had been blood washed, well. there should be some signs. If we say that we changed, then there, be, there should be some change mm -hmm. in our conversation. Yeah. All right. All right. There'll be some change in where we hang out. Right. We're saying that we are in Christ. Yeah. I'm not talking about from a human point, but I said if we're in Christ, uh -huh. amen, we have to look at what is the standards of God. All right. The standards of God is that we live holy. All right. Say that. All right. And I'm going to tell you, holiness is not a denomination. Yeah. Come on now. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Speak now. Just because I might go to Faith Cathedral Church of God in Christ, which is Pentecostal, or this is Friendship Baptist Church, amen, it does not matter. Amen. Holiness, holy living is a way of life. That's it. And if I'm going to be a representative of God, amen, I'm going to have to do what it takes to be holy. Yes. Yes. All right. Come on now. Amen. amen. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body yes. as a living sacrifice, yeah, yeah, yeah. holy and acceptable. 
acceptable unto God. Yes. Which is your reasonable, reasonable service? Reasonable yeah. service. Yeah. It's reasonable. It's not hard. Yeah. Come on now. And be not conformed to this world. Yes. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds. We just need to ask God, God, get in my mind. Please yeah. Jesus. If I have a connection with God, it means that I have fellowship with God. Right. And when I have fellowship with God, it means that I'm communicating with God. Right. And if I'm in communication with God, it means that if something is coming down the road here, let me know ahead of time. If I'm connected with God, if so-and-so is saying this and that, the spirit of God that I say this in me is going to allow me to bridle my tongue. Yes. Just because my mama or my daddy had an attitude, that doesn't give me the right to have an attitude. I'm talking about if I'm professing Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about I'm just coming up and accepting. If I accept God, that means that I'm accepting the change. And if God comes in on me, it means that I'm going to change. How do I change? I change because I make up in my mind that I'm not going to do those things again. It's a mind thing. And the way that I keep my mind is that I stay in connection with Jesus Christ. That means that I don't say one thing on Sunday. And I do another thing on Monday. Again, I'm not throwing no stones at nobody. Right. <laughs> I'm just preaching as God gave it to me. Because I don't have a message not unless God give it to me. Amen. Amen. Connection. Amen. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away, but all things become new. When I'm a new creature, that means that I've decided to Get rid of that old man. All right. I get rid of the, the old man. Amen. God created the opportunity that whatever I did in his body before I accepted him, he he, he forgives me. He wipes the say clean. Some people have had some hard and painful pains. And some folks are still dealing with those and still have issues right. for what happened with them in the past. Right. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of the opportunity. It means let God come in and heal you from that situation. Yes, yes, yes. Let God save you from yourself. Amen. 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 That's what the problem is. It's, it, it, it's not my, my brother, not my sister, but it's me, oh Lord. I'm standing in the need of prayer. I don't have time to worry about. I am concerned about, about my brother and sister, but I don't have the kind of time to be worried about how my brother and sister is living because I got enough issues of my own in my life. I can intercede for you. I can pray for you. But I'm not always there with you. Your pastor's not always there with you. So I have to have a connection with God. Have the kind of connection and the relationship with God that if I'm in trouble, I can look to the hills for which come in my help. And it's a good thing to know that I have an answer to whatever question I have. That Thank God for the opportunity for a solution to whatever problem I have. And I have to realize that it's an opportunity that God is a habit breaker. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> when you know these things, you should take advantage of it. Yeah. Hallelujah. So if I have a connection with God, if I'm in connection with God, Amen. The Bible tells me, amen, it says in, in, in John 15 and 7, it said, if you abide in me uh -huh. and my words abide in you, yeah. uh, ye shall ask what you will. Yes. Amen. And it shall be done unto you. Yeah. 
A lot of folks say that scripture and quote that scripture. Amen. Wow. Amen. But